بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تھینکس فار چوزنگ مائی چینل فار یور لرننگ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ایکسپلین دی گریڈیڈ اور لوکل پوٹینشیل چینجز ان دی میمبرینز آف دی ایکسائٹیبل سیلز پلیز ریکال دیٹ چینجز ان دی ریسٹنگ میمبرین پوٹینشیل آر یوزڈ ایز سگنلز ان دی نیو رانس دیز چینجز occur in the form of either the graded potentials or action potentials. If you want to watch our video on the resting membrane potential, the link of that video is available in the description. Graded potentials are defined as the small local changes in the resting membrane potential which usually occur in the dendrites and the cell body. Graded potentials serve as electrical signal over a short distance. Graded potentials require a stimulus from a neighboring cell or from the external environment. This stimulus causes gated ion channels to open or close in an excitable cell's plasma membrane. Typically, mechanically gated channels and ligand gated channels can be present in the dendrites of sensory neurons and ligand gated channels are numerous in the dendrites and cell bodies of interneurons and motor neurons. Hence, Graded potentials occur mainly in the dendrites and cell body of a neuron. Graded potentials make the inside of the membrane either more negative or less negative. When the response makes the membrane more negative on the inside, it is termed a hyperpolarizing graded potential. Hyperpolarizing graded potentials can be caused by potassium ion leaving the cell or chloride ion entering the cell. When the membrane makes the when the response makes the membrane less negative on the inside, it is termed a depolarizing graded potential. Depolarizing graded potentials are often the result of sodium ion or calcium ion entering the cell down their electrochemical gradients. Because they have a positive charge, they will move into the cell causing it to become less negative relative to the outside. To say that these electrical signals are graded means that they vary in size or amplitude depending upon the strength of the stimulus. They are larger or smaller depending on how many ligand gated or mechanical gated channels have opened or closed and how long each remains open. A stimulus of weak strength causes opening of less number of ion channels and production of a smaller graded potential. A stronger stimulus causes opening of more number of ion channels and production of a larger graded potential. A further stronger stimulus causes opening of of even more number of ion channels and production of a much larger graded potential. The graded potentials spread from the stimulus source to adjacent regions along the plasma membrane. But the potential gradually dies out as the charges are lost across the membrane through leak channels. This mode of travel 
by which graded potentials die out as they spread along the membrane is known as decremental conduction. Because they die out within a few millimeters of their point of origin, graded potentials are useful for short distance communication only. Summation is the process by which Graded potentials add together. If two depolarizing graded potentials summate, the net result is a larger depolarizing graded potential. If two hyperpolarizing graded potentials summate, the net result is a larger hyperpolarizing graded potential. If two equal but opposite graded potential summate, that is one depolarizing and the other hyperpolarizing, then they cancel each other out and the overall graded potential disappears. As shown in the diagram, summation of two depolarizing graded potentials is happening in response to two stimuli of same strength that occur very close together in time. The dotted lines represent the individual depolarizing graded potentials that would form if summation did not occur. Summation can be spatial or temporal. Spatial summation is associating the activity of multiple inputs to a neuron with each other. Meaning that it can be the result of multiple graded potentials at different locations on the neuron. Temporal summation is associating the multiple action potentials from a single cell. Meaning, it can be the result of multiple graded potentials at all the same place but separated in time. Spatial and temporal summation can act together as well. Decremental graded potentials can become stronger and last longer after summating with other graded potentials. Graded potentials summate at a specific location at the beginning of the exon. These locations have a high density of voltage gated sodium ion channels that initiate the depolarizing phase of the action potential. If the total voltage in the membrane is a positive 15 millivolt, meaning that the membrane depolarizes from minus 70 millivolts to minus 55 millivolts, then the graded potentials will result in the membrane reaching threshold to initiate the action potential. A postsynaptic potential is the graded potential in the dendrites of a neuron that is receiving synapses from other cells. For sensory receptor cells such as taste cells or photoreceptors of the retina, graded potentials in their membranes result in the release of neurotransmitters at synapses with sensory neurons. This is called a receptor potential. For the sensory neurons in our skin, such as free nerve endings, graded potentials develop in the dendrites that influence the generation of an action potential in the axons of the same cell. This is called a generator potential. Thanks for watching and listening. Do share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you like this video, 
subscribe to this channel for watching more videos